I want to do a video on uh, today to make sure that if you are using the Garmin uh, GMA 350 uh, audio panel, I see a lot of people that are that have the audio panel but don't realize that they're not getting the 3D audio. Uh, there's a couple things you need to check to make sure your 3D audio is actually working. Uh, one way you can test to see if it's actually working is do uh, you know you'll need to be on COM1 and COM2, and usually if you have a a, a CTAP frequency that's busy, you know, I'll put that on COM1, and then it doesn't matter what you put on COM2, you want to set it up like this, you're listening to two different ones, and then you can just squelch on COM2, which you'll just press it on the volume knob, that'll bring the squelch up, and what you should hear if a 3D audio is working is you should hear the CTAP people talking on the CTAP in one ear, and the static in another ear, they should not be overlapping, um, if the sounds are overlapping, that means the 3D audio is not engaged. There could be a couple reasons for that. The first reason, it may not be turned on in the system itself. So if you go down to the pilot button and you hold it down. 3D audio left. Standard audio. So notice how when I hold it down, it'll either say standard audio or 3D audio. 3D audio left. All right. So when it says, and you heard her say 3D audio left, that's because I have my headset in mono right now. When I do switch it over to stereo, you're going to hear her say 3D audio left and 3D audio right. So that's the first thing to check. Make sure that your pilot mode, you hold it down and make sure that you're actually um, have the 3D audio engaged on your GMA 350. The second thing you want to look at, this is what catches, catches most people, is if you actually pull up, this is a Bose headset, um, the light speeds are just the same. Basically any of the noise canceling headsets are going to have a mono and a stereo adjustment in the headset itself. In the Bose, it's actually right here, I hope you can see it, right where it says audio, once for stereo and once for mono. From the factory, it's in stereo, so you, or I'm sorry, it's in mono, so you want to put it in stereo to actually have the 3D audio. So pretty simple. All you do is you take a pin and you just slide the little button over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to slide the little button over and then we're going to hold down the, uh, the pilot button again and see what happens. Alright, so you can see I've switched it over to stereo. And I'm going to go down here and hold the pilot button down again. Standard audio. So that's standard audio. 3D audio left. All right, so this time I heard 3D audio left and 3D audio right. And I don't know if that came through on the uh, on the video or not, but that's what you're going to be looking for. So if you hold down the pilot button and you go and you just hear 3D audio left, okay, uh, that means that you need to switch your headset from mono to stereo. Yeah. Um, or if you hear it, just go to 3D audio. Um, you should hear 3D audio left and right if your headset's already in stereo. So I catch, you know, a lot of new planes that I get into are, you know, people just purchased or people have been flying a long time. Um, I don't know that it even says that anywhere in the manual, but double check your headsets, make sure they're in stereo so you can really take advantage of the, uh, the GMA 350. All right, guys, fly safe. Uh, make sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Arrow, and fly safe. If you have any ideas uh, for new videos or questions, post them in the comments below. Um, always happy to help. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it, and fly safe.